Hey guys, I'm Tom. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to manage Flexbox scaling by understanding growth and strength. So some of you might have already know the idea of Flexbox. But in this video, I'm going to use some examples that I created to get more details into the idea of grow and shrink. So let's get started. You can see that I've created a, uh, examples with different bars and different ratios. And I'm going to show you one by one to get more understand about the grow and shrink and how it works. So first, we're going to talk about flex grow. And here you can see that I've created some examples with different bars and different ratios and I'm gonna be explained one by one to show you how it works. So first, we're gonna talk about example 1. And for the first example, it was the ratio was set to 0, 0, 0. So you can do all the adjustment for the content on the inspector on the right side. And under the flex box, you can see there's a few bars here and you can do all the adjustment. But for the first examples, it's all set to zero, so we are not going to do any adjustment over here. And now, we can try to scale the resizer. And you can see, the shape has been expanded, but the content stay the same. It's because you didn't set any grow into the content, so they all stay the same. And you can also turn on the layouter on the top left menu to see how the content transform. If the layout is blue, which means the content is fixed and it will turn into green if you set to grow. So let's look on the second example. So for the second example, the ratio is set to 0, 1, 0. So we are going to turn on the grow under the flex box and you can see the layout has been turned into green from blue. And now when you rescale the resizer for the example 2, you can see the middle content has been expanded. It is because the space over here has been grow all into the middle content here. And you can rescale the resizer to get the idea. Next, example 3. The ratio should be all set to 1. So we're going to turn on all the grow settings under the flex box. And now, when you scale the resizer, you can see all the contents has been grow equally. It's because the space over here has been grow separately and equally to all the contents over here in the example tree. As for the last example, it looks a little bit more complicated because of the numbers, but you get the idea when you understand how it works. So over here, click on example 4, and under the grow settings, we're gonna turn all into green and we're gonna change the numbers here into 2, 1 and 3. So now when you rescale the resizer, you can notice that the contents grow into different portions. It's because the space over here it grows separately according to the ratio that you set in the first place. So we can scale the resizers all around to have idea. So this is basically how flex grow works. So now we're going to talk about flex shrink. And flex shrink actually works the same as flex grow, but it's just on the reverse way. And you can see for the first example, it's all going to stay the same and we're not going to do any adjustment on it. So when you rescale the resizer, it's not going to change anything. And for the second example, it's 0, 1, 0. So we're going to set the middle content into 1. So when you shrink, the resizer, you can see only the middle content has been shrink. And for the third example, it's all set to 1. So we're gonna turn on all the shrink adjustment and make sure all are set to 1. So now, when you shrink the resizer, you can notice that all the content has been shrink equally. And for the last example, it's 213. So we're gonna set all the shrink into 213. As before, we change the index on the settings. And now try the resizer. And you can notice that all the contents are shrink into different portions. They shrink according to the ratio that you set in the first place. So, I guess you have already got the rough idea of how flex grow and flex shrink actually works. And now, I'm gonna create a new component. And I'm going to apply the idea into it 
and we will try to see how it actually works in a real project. So here is an example of a project. We're going to try on some different combinations of flex grow and flex shrink. So first, let's set alt content into grow. So here I'm going to set the content into grow and all set to 1. And when I rescale the resizer, you can see only the content has been grow and the gap between and the border is still the same. So next, I would like to shrink the border and let's make it into 2. So when I shrink the resizer, you can see the border has been shrinking. So next, I'm gonna try something different for the gap. So here, I'm gonna set it to grow and I'm gonna try different numbers on this. So for the left gap, I'm gonna set into 1 and for the right gap, I'm gonna set into 5. And now, when I grow the resizer, you can see it grows on the different portions. It grows according to the number that I set. So you can rescale the resizer back and forth to get the idea. Okay, so this is it. I hope by watching this video, you can now manage the flexbox scaling by understanding the flex grow and shrink. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll try my best to answer it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.